Mark chapter 1 says this, And a leper came to him, imploring him, kneeling, said to him, If you will, you can make me clean. If you will, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, I will be clean. And immediately the leprosy left him, and he was made clean. And Jesus sternly charged him and sent him away at once and said to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing what Moses commanded for a proof to them. But he went out and began to talk freely about it and to spread the news so that Jesus could no longer openly enter a town but was out in desolate places and the people were coming to him from every quarter. So it's important to realize that lepers in this time in the Bible, um, they were considered unclean. So that's why the leper says, Lord, if you're willing, you can make me clean. And what it was to be unclean at those times meant that if someone touches you, they had to go through all of these washings. So you're basically not really allowed to be in the public. You had to live on the outskirts of society. You weren't allowed to go to the synagogue. Um, you weren't allowed to, to really be a part of society. You were rejected and, and you were often lonely and you hung out maybe with other lepers, but you couldn't touch anyone because the disease was contagious. What leprosy was, it was eating at your skin and you would lose limbs. Uh, you would also lose the ability to feel. Um, so basically, for example, if you had leprosy in, in your hand, for example, if you put your hand on a stove, you wouldn't even feel the burning heat. And so a lot of people would injure their body because they had no nerves that were active that would um, keep them sensitive to dangerous things. So lepers, it was a serious, dangerous condition that often led to death. And so this man comes to Jesus and he, he begs, he says, if you're willing, you can make me clean. And Jesus is moved with pity. He stretches out his hand and touch him and says, I will be clean. And boom, the leprosy left him right in that moment and he was clean. And then he tells the leper, go and don't say anything about it, but go to the high priest or go to the priest and offer um, a cleansing. It says, offer a cleansing as Moses commanded for proof to them. So Jesus was saying to follow the proper procedure it was uh, outlined in Leviticus for how they were to prove their cleansing. And this was amazing because no one, no one was ever cleansed of leprosy. Once you had it, you had it. So for them to go to the temple or go to the, um, what does it say? Yeah, go to the priest and offer um, and show that, that this happened. It was basically like, you know, saying a miracle happened in front of all of Judea. It was showing that a miracle happened and it was showing it to the priest and the priests. It's very interesting. They were those oftentimes the religious rulers were the ones who doubted Christ. So him going to the religious leaders who doubted Christ, showing that Christ healed him uh, was a total witness that Jesus is the son of God. But he actually didn't do this. He went out and began to talk freely about it and spread the news so Jesus could no longer enter openly into a town. So he had to go into desolate places and people had to find him if they wanted to be healed. And Jesus, we see that he was hiding himself from popularity. He was waiting for the appointed time for him to reveal himself. And that's why he was often on the outskirts because he was getting so famous and the Jews were gonna try to persecute him and kill him. And his name couldn't be out yet. So that is uh, the story of Mark.